Thank you so much for joining me for this next episode of this short prayer reflection series based upon this little book by Rachel Jones, Five Things to Pray in a Global Pandemic. And we're not out of the woods by any stretch at the moment. Today, praying for the response, key workers. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 1 to 33. We describe key workers are those whose work is critical to the COVID-19 response, health and social care, food production, delivery, utilities and the like. Firstly, knowledgeable. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. Verse 3. Praise God that he is sovereign over his world. His concern is not limit, limited to the affairs of his own people. He rules over all people. Ask him to help you to pray confidently for the needs of our nation and our world, knowing that he is able and willing to help. Let's be still. Secondly, successful plans. Verse 22, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisers they succeed. And this crisis over the last three or four months has demanded new and frequently changing plans across so many sectors. Pray that as people continue to work together, their plans to work for good would succeed and that systems would continue to function for the sake of the common good. Let's be still. Thirdly, protect the vulnerable. Verse 25, the Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he sets the widow's boundary stones in place. We serve and love a God of justice who desires that the vulnerable members of our society will be protected. Pray for the elderly and at risk and all others who suffer injustices. Black Lives Matter. Pray that they would be able to access the help and the justice that is needed and pray for all those key workers responsible for delivering it. Let's be still. Fourthly, good news soon. Light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones, says verse 30. Ask God to bless the nation's key workers with good health and strong morale, even in the face of many pressures, even at a time when we move through and hopefully emerge out of this crisis. Pray that soon we would all have the joy of sharing in the good news that this crisis is over. Let's be still. Fifthly and finally, lasting honour. Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord and humility comes before honour, says verse 33. It has been so good and so right to honour our key workers for the part they've been playing in fighting this pandemic. And let's never stop honouring them, please. Thank God for them now again. Yet we know that it's only those who bow the knee to King Jesus in this life who will enjoy that honour of an eternal crown in the next. So I ask God to use this crisis that many people might know him and follow him. Pray that for any key workers that you know by name. And may all these prayers, spoken and unspoken, come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for spending this short time with me. Please join me again next time when we'll be praying for the response for those who are sick. <laughs>